The National First Division will soon be in Thunder Royal Zulu's rearview mirror, but they do have one final obligation as they look to crown a superb title-winning campaign with victory against Real Kings in the season's final game. And then in field, nicely sprayed around, at least in the middle of the park, at that ball to try and release the man up front. It's not good enough. Not good enough indeed, but the intentions was... He was expecting Mayela to make that run to the open space. Unfortunately, he couldn't read the pass, and Mubeni was forced to chase on the pass, but good intentions from Pagamiseni Nene. Gumete goes over the top. Mayele somehow gets onto the end of it, squares it unselfishly, and then bangs it just over the crossbar. Nicely worked there, and good unselfish play from uh, from Mayele to set up Mubeni. It was a nice clever boy by lucky boy Gomede to set up in Kele, but Ansel Felix is so. Thunder Royals who have only lost two games this season. Both have been on the road. Their home record has been very, very impressive. They didn't lose once at home in 15 matches this season. Three draws. And uh, well, the games that they did lose, it's not exactly as if they lost to uh, teams that were pressing up the table. And doing well, that's a great save. The cross was deep. It came from deep, and I think that's where the surprise element came in. Ngobo did very well there, but the good cross from Lucky Boy to try to locate. And Ngobo, with the kind of condition he's in, he did the way to parry the ball. It's four on three, and they might have taken too long, and in the end, have to content themselves with going from range because the defense had time to reorganize. It did look promising, though. You could see it was more like three versus three there. The decision-making from Jamini. Namalope. Last ball. And heads and over. Again, nice, unselfish set-up play from Trele to Obeni. Good work by Mshengi Trele, but also not forgetting Captain Fantastic, who went down the line. But also, what is good about the Thunder team is that the, the, the change of positions between Malupe, Ngubeni, and Mshengi Tele unstabilized the defense from Real King. Now the shot. Oh! What a banger. Malupe cracks it home. <laughs> and he goes for a swim. And why not? The, the good play from... Uh, Sikelo and a good layoff also from Jamin and the cracker. No chance for Ngobo. The goalkeeper stands still, beaten hands down. He took it so well in such a way that it yet only look. But before that, it was a good combination play. Real Kings can kill you or hurt you when it comes to counter attacks. Still gets his foot back on it. Plays it's a pragmatic choice to but can you come on here so that they can restart again? Trele and turns it in. Oh, a man who's been scoring all season gets his 19th in the, fun, the final day. And Tandarol Zulu are back level. That's the power of Mshengi Trele. You always make sure that he imposes in the 18-yard in the box. Whenever crosses are played over, he's a tall fellow. Clamini. Burst forward with that one, through to Malope. And the goalkeeper can't keep it out. But Malope gets the second. Tunder Royal Zulu in front, having been behind at the interval. And uh, it was a shot struck with a lot of venom, but the goalkeeper should have done better. Should have done better, but this is the man that you can't stop. He's on fire. He got his second goal, the third goal in, in three matches, which shows that Tanda players also are in congratulation to Malupe, who is picking at the right time. But what a venom! But also the pass from Mshengi Tele is the chance to fire at goal and the save. Globo does well, reaches up. And just turns that one behind. It's over. So we bring down the curtain on Tanda's wonderful, wonderful season. A record-breaking season. Tanda Royals, Zulu, champions of the National First Division.